Hello everyone, this video is an additional video for my crochet cardigan pattern. This pattern is perfect for all beginners, it's done in one piece, minimum of weavings and it's easy to follow. Don't forget to visit my blog happyhearty.com where you can find this pattern for free. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more crochet content. Thank you for watching and now let's get started. Alright guys, and for this uh, cardigan I picked uh, yarn from the current cakes, uh, the blossom cakes. And uh, this color is the passion fruit, but of course you can use any worsted or the medium for yarn. Uh, so it's up to you. Definitely double check your uh, like a maker swatch if you if you have the same gauge. And then I use six millimeter hook for this one, and it's very simple this pattern. So I hope that you will enjoy it. And for a full written pattern, uh, you can go to visit my blog happyheartsy.com where you can see this pattern. So now let's get started. All right, guys, so now let's start. And you have two options how to start because uh, you start with the double crochet row. So you can either start with the foundation chain and then the double crochet row separately. Or you can start with the foundation double crochet, which means that you do foundation chain and your first row all at once. So I would highly recommend the second option, the foundation double crochet, because then your row is kind of stretchy. It has more benefits. So feel free to uh, visit my other video on YouTube uh, where I actually uh, explained this uh, double crochet foundation, uh, the foundation double crochet or foundation single crochet, or you can actually kind of basically do it with any stitch that you want. So I would highly recommend that. Otherwise, if you start with the foundation chain, then just follow the instructions on my uh, websites. But uh, basically, you need to have odd number of your of your stitches. So with the foundation chain, that means that you have to make even number of the foundation chain. And then if uh, let's say that this is my uh, even, or, or, I mean, even number of the foundation chain, then you will make your first double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So we don't count the chain, the loop on our hook, but from whatever it's below. So it's one, two, three, and you will just do the double crochet there then you should get uh yeah the odd number of the stitches but as far as you follow the instructions then uh you know how many of foundation chain uh, or how many foundation double crochet you need to do so for this tutorial i'm just gonna make really short version uh, of it but then i'll get to the point that i'll be uh showing it, it on actual uh, the cardigan or the sweater so for now just uh if you follow the uh, pattern make any odd number of the stitches so i just finished my first row and uh, i have 17 double crochets which is the odd number of the stitches you have whatever number you want or you need for your size of the cardigan so this is your first row the double crochet at the end and now let's uh, start with the second row so at the end of the double crochet row which is this one we always make at the end three chains and then turn three chains means that the first two chains is a first double crochet for the second row or for any any next row and the chain one is the skipping chain and skipping chain means that you will skip the next stitch and you will make your double crochet into the next one so this stitch is already the two chain this is the double crochet one chain one this is the chain one pretty much and into the next one we're gonna make our double crochet so we create a chain space so we just insert the hook there and make our double crochet into the next stitch and now you can see that there's the little hole after the double crochet you will make chain one that means that you will skip the next stitch and make the double crochet into the next one so you create one chain like a chain spaces here so now you can see 
uh, the holes there and uh, i also count this chain one as a stitch so if you see in the pattern at the end that you have in total in my case 17 uh, stitches for this row that means that the chain one also counts as a stitch even if it's just it's just chain one but uh yeah it, it counts like that so every time after the double crochet you will make the chain one skip the next stitch and into the next one you will make your double crochet so this is what you repeat until the end of the row with the chain spaces and that's why we also needed the odd number because in this case <clears throat> you will end your row so you, i have the chain one this is my last stitch just ahead of me i will skip this stitch and into this one uh, into the last stitch i make my last double crochet so this is how it looks and basically you repeat your first row and the second row for the entire uh, cardigan of course that there are like some things in between so <clears throat> this is for the, uh, the first like a few rows just like that you will repeat those two um those two rows so now every time after the chain space uh row let's call it like this way you always make just chain two you turn the project and now you will make double crochet in every stitch and in every chain space so and again those two chains counts as a first double crochet for the next row or for this third row so now my first double crochet is gonna be into this chain space from the previous row you don't have to insert the hook into the chain that would be actually hard but just into that space that make it very easy and just make your double crochet there then double crochet into that next stitch which is this one and then yes you have to insert the hook into that stitch so as like a the regular as you know and now you will make an, another double crochet into the chain space and into the next stitch double crochet so this is what you repeat uh, until the end of the row so you make double crochet in every chain space and in every stitch from the previous row so let's call it just double crochet row now i am gonna about to make my last two double crochets so whenever you're like a, before your last chain space so you will just make the double crochet into that chain space your last chain space and then don't forget about a double crochet in your last stitch but the last stitch this one is the three chains that we skipped or when, when we actually did, did at the end of the first row and then we turn the project and that means that the two chains are the first double crochet and then chain one is the skipping chain so now we will make our last double crochet into the second chain into the second chain uh, on top and because that was actually our like double crochet or it counts as a double crochet even if it's just the two chains so this is where you're gonna make your last double crochet so now you can see that the pattern is actually uh, popping up the texture how it's gonna look and now we are uh, repeating the second row so now at the end of the double crochet row or any at the at the end at uh, at the end of the double crochet rows you always make chain three for the next row because then it means that you will do the two chains means as a first double crochet and then chain one is the skipping chain and uh, after every uh, chain space row let's call this one chain space row you always make just two chains and again it also counts as a first double crochet for the next row and then you will just continue with the double crochet in every stitch every chain space so now let's start with the third row and that means that we make three chains turn the project and we skip uh, our next stitch which is this one and we insert the hook into the next stitch 
and make the double crochet and then now we created the chain space again after double crochet you just make chain one you skip the next stitch and insert the hook or make the double crochet into the next stitch chain one again chain one means skipping the right next stitch but make the double crochet into the next one and again this is how you repeat it until the end of the row and again your last stitch should be the double crochet and you should actually it, it should be actually even so you should uh have you should have the space like now for your chain one space so now this is my chain one and now i have my last two stitches which is i know that i am on the right track sometimes what happens is that let's say i forget to skip the one uh stitch and i make the chain one but i just forget to skip the stitch that means that at the end of the row it doesn't uh it doesn't match so let's say i have just one last stitch but i have to make i have to have two stitches left so I hope that makes sense. So it, it happens. So sometimes you have to just go back and see uh, where did you make uh, the mistake. And also you should have total like a same number of the stitches. So uh, if I have 17, I should also have 17 right here. because I But I also count the chain one as a stitch. So I should have 17 stitches there. So now we are at the end of the chain space row. So it means that I have to make chain two, which is counts as a first double, uh, yeah, first double crochet for the next row. Then I turn my project and make double crochet in each chain space and every stitch. Uh, now, so you repeat those two rows, uh, like for uh, some amount of the rows. So this is the first, second, third, fourth. So now I have five rows right here so uh you make your rows i think that for the size m because this is my size <laughs> so i think that i have 13 rows uh and then i start to make a hole to my armhole uh yeah i actually yeah I, i'm starting to make my armhole space and uh, because i don't like uh, sewing much i don't like uh, the weavings and stuff so i try to avoid it and i make um like a one construction that you can also see uh, on my on my blog. So now we gonna uh, you always before you start your uh, the armhole when you start your like a part you have to kind of divide uh, divide your row and then you will you will just let's say make a some amount some number of just the stitches just regular as you know and let's say in the like a three quarter uh again it's gonna be it's it says in the in the pattern whatever number you have for your own size and then in the middle of that you will stop making stitches and instead instead of that you will start to making only foundation chain and again it's gonna it's written everything there how many like uh, how many foundation chains you need to make and i'll show you right away so whenever you start to split your row it should the row should be always with the chain space row so i'll show you right now so now i know that in my case i have 17 so let's make uh let's make nine uh stitches for now as i know so this is my one two is also the chain one now this is my third chain one four double crochet five chain one six double crochet seven so now i have my last one so this is my last one and now i have to finish uh the row so in total i should have the same amount of stitches or also the foundation chain now in the case so now I have nine so until 17 I need to have eight more uh, eight actually nine now it's always it's gonna be always uh, plus one chain because uh, we're gonna the next row is the double crochet row so I need to always make cha plus chain one so I have eight plus one so I will make only foundation chain and I will make them nine So 
So now I have nine foundation chains. So it's gonna look like that. It is a little weird, but uh, it is the it is the right way to do. <laughs> and now I have to do the plus one. So I have nine, not eight, because I have seventeen. And then uh, I mean I have uh, nine, and until seventeen, it's eight foundation chains, but plus one. So now I have nine. I will just turn the project and now I will make my first double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So this is this loop doesn't count as a first chain but whatever it's below so it's one two three. So into the third one you will also make your double crochet and the third one because the first two chains the skip chains counts as a first double crochet. So now we have two and until here I should have eight and then it will match uh, the number of the stitches of the rows what I had before because I should always have the same uh, number of the stitches. So now in each chain you will just continue with the double crochet So now I just made my last double crochet into the, just the foundation chain and I should have eight, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm just uh, starting to, uh, let's say, continue above the regular row. So now it's perfect. And now this is the double crochet row. So I'll just make my double crochet in every stitch and every chain space. So I'll just insert the hook there into the stitch and now in the chain space and I just continue with a double crochet until the end of the row. So now I finish it and it looks like that. So now yeah, I would uh, also recommend just to uh, double check if you have the same amount of the stitches like from the previous rows. So now I should have again 17 double crochets which I have. I already double checked that and this is your armhole. So uh, again like a uh, base on my gauge and whatever it's in, uh, in the written pattern and uh, for your own size. Uh, you should uh, yeah you should have like the enough space for your arm if you feel of course that if you feel that it's too small or too big you can always just adjust it based on your needs you would just have to let's say make a few stitches more uh, and then you just have to do the math like uh, how many uh, just foundation chain would be until the yeah, to match the number of the row. So I hope that it makes sense, but it is pretty easy. And now you will just continue again with the chain space. So now you see that you will always end with your double crochet row. Then your chain space row will be just like interrupted in the middle. And then you will just finish it with your foundation chain. And on the way back, you will again make just a double crochet. So you will always and every size will have that row uh, like the chain space row and like between you will have the double crochet row so now this is how you continue and then the same way you will make the hole for your next armhole so uh, now uh, after this I will just show you how it looks and then we'll go for the next step all right guys so here it is so this is uh, my construction so this is exactly the armholes that I just uh, mentioned uh, before and this is exactly the same way I did the other one so you can see that the uh, full double crochet rows are like a, you know like against each other and there's just the one row chain space row interrupted and this, this is like that here I mean uh, this is where I continue with the foundation chain and then I just uh, continue with the double crochet row so this is it and that means that now it's the sewing part yeah, we have to actually do the sewing, but it's going to be easy because now you will just align your rows. So you will your first row and this row is the double crochet. So that's why you kind of doesn't need your um, your like a stitch markers, because this is pretty obvious where you should have align your rows. So this is what you do. And I would uh, 
yeah highly recommend it to do it now so let's uh sew this part now also the other side because then we will start to make um the edge and it's gonna be all around uh all around uh the cardigan so it might actually looks that this 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 part this your this this front panels uh is a little bit like short or like a small but then we will add few inches here so then it will be actually nicely uh like 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 nicely it will just fill the gap here and you will just nicely like wrap yourself in that <laughs> so i hope it makes sense so now just grab your yarn needle align your um align your uh rows and let's just sew it so now before i start to actually sewing this part and i can see that i have the little tail here so yeah of course that i can just grab the yarn needle and weave in but because i need to sew this part so this part together so what i'm gonna do and i'll show you actually just one hack that it's actually perfect for even this project because you use just the one or if of course you decided to use just one color so or the one yarn then uh i love to make my invisible knot when i uh need to uh when i need to attach like a new new yarn skein so then i don't have to weave in <laughs> so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna grab this tail and i'll just put these tails like just above each other and now i will make it doesn't matter what tail you're gonna, gonna grab first but with one tail you will make a simple knot around this one so i'll show you so i will just grab this tail and make a single knot as you usually know just around that one one tail just like that and with this tail i will make the knot around those two so i'll just have to make the loop here around those two pull through so now you can see that i make the single knot around those two strings so now i have two knots and then what i'm gonna do i will just pull them together and now i can just safely cut it just above and it won't untangle uh, it won't get loose so now i will just cut it right there so now yes maybe few <laughs> few like sewing parts will be a little bit tough with this little knot but it will be nicely hidden and then i don't have to worry about it so now what i'm gonna do i will just um because it's gonna be a simple simple weave in so i will just cut the yarn i will just keep the tail a little bit a little bit longer I don't have any better yarn needle i feel like they're like elastics like hair elastics that you just keep losing them <laughs> uh, so this is exactly what i feel like with the yarn needle so anyway i have this yarn needle and now we will just uh, so now i have to make sure that i align my rows so now i am on the right track so i have a double crochet row on the double crochet row and it's exactly like aligned from the edge so now what i'm gonna do i will just do it simply like just around just around the stitches yeah and it's actually also okay with the with that little knot there i just have to pull a little bit maybe harder but that's it and then i will just maybe through each chain or whatever you feel just to sew this part so now it's getting a little harder with the knot but uh i know it won't be long so it's definitely definitely worth it okay so now i'm at the end so now what i'm gonna do uh yeah, i will just tie it and then i will just make a uh i would say double knot i would just want to really secure uh, this tail and I don't want to like have it untangled or anything so I'll just make the double knot to secure it and then I'll just weave in now I'm okay with that it's already on the needle so <laughs> let's just weave in the, the tail 
and also in this case because we uh we we went or we just sew these parts together like from this side then um we will just uh this is let's say the wrong side and then you will just turn it and then it's actually it's actually nicely uh yeah it, it's very nicer than this part so you can see visibly here uh the sewing part but when you will just flip it then uh it's it's way nicer and smoother so now in this side so now I actually even so i just cut the cut the yarn and now i am doing the same thing on this side all right so now i just sew my part together so now if i would flip it then uh, it's actually nicer uh just the top side of it so uh i would just flip it and now what we're gonna do and now so this is how it looks now we have the armholes for the sleeves right here so now you can also actually try it on if it's uh if it's okay you just you know make like a double check and now we're gonna what we're gonna do we will start to make uh the ribbing like around uh like around this uh sides or around this front panels so we're gonna most likely start uh from this side wherever the tail is and just go all like around here and uh yeah it's gonna be cute and then we're gonna make the bottom part so now guys uh i'm at the bottom of my cardigan and now i just found my tail and i'm gonna use it again for the uh for my edge for my ribbing so now let's just grab uh your new yarn and let's just make the invisible knot again like i showed you before and uh, we can start we can just continue with that with this tail so again i'm just gonna put my tails above and you can also um go to the exact time which you can see in the description where i show the this invisible knot so i'm gonna make it exactly right here again So it's like that. I really cannot untangle or anything. And now let's, whenever I am at the end here, so I will just insert the hook into my uh, into my first stitch right here. And let's, uh, yeah, now I just don't know where from it. And now let's just make my foundation chain. And let's make, uh, again, the number that you need for your size so I made 11 because now I will make my double crochet in the back loop but we will be like uh, doing the ribbing so we will right away we will sew each row into the edge so uh that's gonna be actually easier and we don't have to do the ribbing separately and then the like a sewing together so we're gonna be working with the cardigan right away so now i have my uh like a number of the foundation chain and again into the third chain from the hook i make my first double crochet and then i'll just make my double crochet in each chain until the end of the row okay so now i'm at the end of my row so this is my 10 and it looks like that now what we're gonna do what actually is perfect because this row now we can see the stitches very clearly so now we're gonna uh attach i mean we do the with the slip stitch this first row into our second uh like a chain or second stitch so i just insert the hook into the second stitch right here make the slip stitch so I just connected the, the first row here and I decided to do the second one because the double crochet it's basically from the two chains or like a, from the two steps. So then two stitches is like a one row. So now I'm right here and now I will make my slip stitches into the next 
two stitches of this side of the cardigan like here so this is my second stitch now i will just turn i will flip my work and make my double crochet into the first stitch right here but into the back loop so when you see the top part of your first row now you will insert the hook right into this v stitch right here and you will make in that back loop your double crochet so this is what you continue until the end of the row and you should have 10 double crochets again don't forget about your last stitch into the two chain skips because that counts as a first double crochet so i'll just make my last double crochet there and then again i make my chain two which is counts as a first double crochet turn the work and now again into the next stitch which is right here because this first two chains counts as a first double crochet so into this one again into the back loop right here I make my double crochet and again until the end of the row all right so now I'm at the end of the row again and now I will again just uh, make uh, the slip stitch to the side of the cardigan and I count my two chains or two stitches from the bottom right here I will insert the hook there and make the slip stitch and now in next two stitches of the side of the of the cardigan i make my slip stitches on the two which is kind of like a, my double crochet and then i will just flip it and continue with my double crochet right here and again the back loop only and this is what you continue for the entire uh, sides of this cardigan and also on top like behind your neck but when I get there I'll show you how to do the corners all right guys so this is how it looks the ribbing so far so just continue with this uh, method so then you don't have to do the ribbing and then uh, uh, the like the cardigan separated but you can actually right away uh, sewed it together with your hook so I think it's way easier so just continue for the entire cardigan like just right up to here and then once we get to the corner I will get here and show you how to do the corner and then basically this, the other side is gonna be the same all right guys so now i'm at the end so now you can i mean at the end of this top part of the cardigan so now i have my first side of this ribbing so it looks like that i think that it looks super cute and actually about the corner uh we're gonna be just continuing just regular whatever we did now so we won't do any let's say like a more rows at the corner but we're just gonna continue same as like now so uh i'll just show you so now i just have to finish uh, this row all right guys so now i'm about the corner so this is my top part of the cardigan so I'll just that makes me up so here we go now you can see it more clearly and this is my like kind of last row of uh, i mean whenever it's like a straight like that but then we will continue the ribbing exactly as we did until now so now i can see that my second stitch is right here so i will make just make the slip stitch and now I will just make slip stitch evenly because now this is just the side of the rows. So it's not visible the stitches, but if I'm going to make it somehow like evenly, uh, then that should do too. So now I know that I see that I have the space here. So I just make the two slip stitches. That means that it's kind of for us like the first, like a double crochet, but we just sew that part. And then turn and then just we continue with the back loop double crochet and we don't do anything extra 
usually in the corners let's say you make uh like more you make more stitches or anything but we will just continue regularly the ribbing as we know all right so this is exactly my corner and what i'm gonna do i will just basically put my row like that and then i just know that this row at the end of this chain space row so on the top chain right here i will just make the slip stitch but i'm not gonna insert the hook into the space but actually in the stitch i think that it's gonna be uh better uh and then i will just make two slip stitch two slip stitches on top right here that actually means kind of like the double crochet i just turn and continue with my double crochet row so there's nothing like actually there's nothing uh like different with the ribbing around the corner because then this will automatically will just roll up like that so and this is gonna be in behind of your back so yeah just continue until the end and you will just continue right here on the other side of the uh of the cardigan and then you will just end up here and then i'll show you the next step all right guys so now i have my ribbing around the cardigan done so this is how it looks uh this is my tail because i end uh the row on this side uh but i don't have any specific actually number for any size for the rows because i think that it's also um uh, how like uh, how long you have this and how you're gonna manage uh how you're gonna manage uh the attaching the ribbing at the top but actually it was a super cool so actually it really matched that i like there was like a two stitches left on the side so i could actually end the row like that so if for some i don't know if you can if you might have end the row like on this side so it's going to be connected and on this side so in that case i would keep your tail and then you will continue right away uh the ribbing around like at the bottom it's gonna be exactly the same size so again we will uh make uh 11 foundation chains like from from here and then we're gonna just do the ribbing like at the at the bottom of the cardigan like just all around so if let's say so if you will and uh, you will have the tail on this side then you will just continue and you don't have to cut it like I had to uh, because I have to I want the ribbing all the way around from here right so I just whatever I will just leave this one tail that's totally all right with me so if you would have the tail here just don't cut it the yarn but instead just continue and I'll show you how because in that case you would just finish uh, your last uh, your last stitch right here but now I have to just join the new yarn or the same like yarn color but uh, new yarn so what I'm do I'll just insert the hook into my uh, last like at uh, the last stitch or the first stitch here so I'll just insert the hook there and I'll just put the yarn around my hook and pull through and now I will just I will make the chain one but this chain one it's just the about to tie it so then it's gonna be like a little knot there and now i will count my 11 foundation chains so in that uh, so in that case i'm gonna have 10 uh double crochets like exactly like here so i should have the same size of it and i'll just keep tight the the chain one here but So here we go. So I have 11 and now I'll just continue the ribbing exactly the same way uh, as we did around the, around the side or around the, oh yeah, around the cardigan here. But at the bottom, now I have the stitches here. So it's pretty straightforward where I have to insert the hook and I will always have to count the two stitches because the two stitches would also count. Uh, like the double crochet or pretty much yeah exactly the same but around here around the rest of the like bottom of the cardigan then you see that you have the the ends of the row so it's not that clear the stitches like here but uh, yeah because it's the rows of the double crochets 
so let's say that you have always two stitches at the end of the each row so in that way it's actually easy too and i wouldn't again like we did it on the top of the cardigan i wouldn't insert the hook in the chain space i mean in this space here but in the stitches so then it will be more like clear and it wouldn't be that uh, like a too big hole let's say so yeah so let's start so now it's pretty straightforward it's again the same way as we did um before so now i just uh insert the hook into the third chain from the hook and i'll make my first double crochet but also the two chains skipped counts as a first double crochet for the row so just remember that and now i'll just continue and i make the ribbing all at the bottom all right so now i'm at the end so i have my 10 uh double crochets here and then i will just join into the second stitch from the uh from the bottom so it's right here now make the slip stitch and then i make the slip stitch in the next two top of the stitches from the side turn and make my double crochet in the back loop so exactly the same way as we did around the cardigan so then i'll show you what to do next and i guess it's gonna be our almost last part and it's gonna be the sleeves and i'm also um thinking about making pockets in it but it's gonna be optional but i'm gonna do them for sure all right guys so now i my bottom edge or the ribbing actually it's done so this is how it looks uh it's the same size as the sides so uh, i absolutely love it how it turns out and now let's start with the sleeve so i already made the one sleeve <laughs> so it looks like that it's pretty much the size to the elbow but if you will uh just um, fold uh this ribbing edge like that so it's like a short so it actually looks super cute like in a both ways so now let's start with the second one and then we will just continue the pattern with the double crochet row and uh okay the one chain space row uh so then you don't see uh that i actually join or you don't see whenever uh, i join the sleeve so it's really minimized <laughs> i really tried to avoid the weavens as much as possible and i think that i'll definitely nail it <laughs> so let's start with the second sleeve all right so now i'm gonna start to make my right sleeve of the cardigan i the left one is already done like i showed you before and now let's join our yarn right here at the bottom so uh let's just insert the hook i would just start uh in the maybe in the in the chain space right here because that row is with the chain space so just into that and i'll just make uh i just put my yarn over my hook pull through the loop and make chain one but the chain one i just keep tighten so um it's uh yeah it will it will not untangled but still uh, whenever you will leave like okay, weave in this end i would still make a double knot just to secure it just in case that it won't um it won't untangle when you're gonna wash it because it has the tendency to like you see now uh to okay to make it loosen so now because uh we have double crochet row all around so now we're gonna continue with the pattern so now is the time for the chain space row so now what we're gonna do we're gonna make a uh, chain three so i have chain three and that means that the first two is the double crochet and chain one is the chain one of the space the creating space and because uh, we are in this uh, chain space, so what I would do, <clears throat> I would just skip this uh, next stitch. And now you can see it's a little bit different. It also depends how you started uh, the first double crochet row, because uh, you can see that I have just the one loop around here. And on the other side, there's like the V shapes, the two loops. And it's just because this one is my last row of the cardigan. 
and then it's my like a last yeah so this is the double crochet there and this is very beginning this is my first the very first row that i started so and because i made uh, foundation double crochet i made the loop or the chain the foundation chain through the two loops so that's why i have just one here but it depends uh the way how you did it, it 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 it's possible that you have also two like here but still this one loop is also like at the bottom of the double crochet so now i just skip this uh, next stitch and then insert the hook into the next one and make my double crochet so now we just continue with the pattern so then again after the double crochet i made my chain one we skip the next chain next stitch and into the next stitch we make double crochet and now because we make the sleeve uh, like a, in a round so now we need uh, even number of the stitches not the odd number but even number all right so now i'm at the end and it actually is perfect because now i've just chain one and now this is the chain space, uh, the row, but because uh, it's uh, it's from the double crochet, the first one, and it has two chains. So that means that um, I can, it's pretty much like a chain one that it would be there. So now I had made the chain one here and I'll just insert the hook into the top second chain and make a slip stitch. And now we make chain two. That counts as a first double crochet for the next row and now we make a double crochet into the chain space then we make double crochet into the stitch then into the chain space and again into the stitch so now this row is made in double crochet only so then we just continue with the pattern so now when i show you like here this part so far so now you can see uh that it's actually just continuing the pattern and it's not visible where you actually started so now this is how you continue for the uh, rows that uh, the pattern says and then i'll show you how to do the ribbing all right, so now I'm about my last row of my sleeve and now I'll start to uh, start to crochet the ribbing. So it's actually easy again, like it's uh, like pretty much the same way as uh, we did before. So now I already made my slip stitch right here, my last row and every in every sizes there should be last row of double crochet, not the chain spaces uh, row, but just the double crochet row. So now we're gonna make, because it's the same length of uh, like uh, the ribbing all around the edge so now we're gonna make chain 11 so now i have my 11 chains and now we're gonna insert the hook into the third chain from the hook so again it's the same thing like what we did the ribbing before and now in each chain we make double crochet now into the last one so now we should have 10 double crochets and now because now it's actually nice and visible the top uh, part of the double crochet the, the stitches so now I will count my two so into the second chain or second stitch I will make the slip stitch so I connect this row and then I will make slip stitches above like for two more and then turn and I will make double crochet into the first double crochet in the back loop. So this is the same method as we did with the ribbing on the side of the cardigan and at the bottom. So this way you will do all around the sleeve. All right, so now you can see that I have my ribbing around the sleeve uh, done, and now actually I have two stitches. This one is a little bit small, but it's uh, it's the one. So what I'm gonna do, I will just my last row, I will make the slip stitch there for sure. So now that I just end my row, then I roll up my sleeve. So now this is the wrong side, and 
I will sew it but with my hook and I'll show you how so I have still my loop on my hook and I'll just insert the hook into the first stitch here first stitch on the other side of the uh, of the sleeve and then I will just make a slip stitch then I insert the hook into the second stitch and then into the second stitch on the other side yarn over pull up the loop and then with that same loop pull through the loop what my what was my on my hook and that's the slip stitch and this is what I continue until the end of the row just with the slip stitches and then you will just secure it and weave in the end so I'm at the end now I will just pull your get pull through the yarn grab my scissors cut it pull through I would still make a double knot here and then weave in the end and then it looks like that and my sleeve is done and as I said before you can either roll it up because this part is actually at the bottom so it's gonna be under your arm so it won't be that visible and if I would actually make it nice for you so this is how how it looks this is the bottom part so it's right here then you will weave in the end and this is your sleeve So now you can see that cardigan right here and then for the next uh, thing is and it's absolutely uh, optional I would like to have some pockets here because I always have my phone around and I think it would be nice to have some like a nice pockets here so I'll show you and but again like I said it's just optional so you will decide if you want the pockets or not if not then your cardigan is done don't forget to weave in your ends and uh, just enjoy wearing it and if not just stay with me and i'll show you how to do buckets all right guys so i just made my pocket so it looks like that so again it's just the same pattern as uh, we did all the cardigans so the first row is your double crochet then the second row is the uh the double crochet like with the space chain like this with the chain one chain spaces uh so we i just decided that i'm gonna do it like in different uh ways so it's not the lengthwise but the stripes are like uh, on, on your bit and then i also made the ribbing so exactly it's the same like before so it's super easy like it's um uh, like simply uh, simplicity so this is all about it and then you will just you have to count your stitches so you will have the same pocket like on the other side so then you will do the twice and then at the end whenever you're done with your uh with your ribbing or the pocket so then i left a little bit longer tail so at least enough like that it goes all around those three sides and then a little bit more because with this tail i will sew uh, i will just put the pocket together with the uh with the cardigan so now just grab your yarn needle and then uh, i'll show you how to do so so now also if you'd like you can also use your stitch markers but it's optional i'm not gonna use it <laughs> maybe i should but i don't anyway you will just uh, align your pocket so i would definitely sew the, the pockets into the double crochet rows because i think that it's gonna be uh, easier because there are many stitches that we can actually uh, see this uh, together and then you have to align the pocket so it will be nice nicely straight so I just counted like a six stitches from the from the ribbing part like from the bottom of the cardigan so now it's aligned and uh, I also see that I have the double crochet row here and double crochet uh, row right here so this is uh, where I will sew the uh, sew the pocket so now we're just gonna uh, grab this side and we're just gonna make it very easy so through the whole through the every stitch you will basically i'll just move it a little bit closer for you so it's gonna be more visible so i would always just go around like a stitch 
uh, the double crochet here and then go through the uh, stitch of the pocket and then I will just like weave in the tail like through those like stitches like this way and this is how whatever you repeat like all around uh, the pocket all right guys so now i finished my cardigan so this is my sleeve so i think that i will wear it like a just rolled up but if you want to have it a little longer you can also like have it down uh then i have the pockets right here so then i also made the other one on the other side so i align exactly the same uh like on the same place and yeah i already weaved in the uh ends so that's everything i hope that you enjoy this pattern i think that it's pretty easy just because you exactly like you repeat only two rows and then it's just the ribbing and then everything else it's actually the same way just different numbers so i hope that you enjoy it thank you so much for watching and feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can stay tuned with me for more crochet content or uh, feel free to follow me on my instagram or facebook and don't hesitate to visit my website uh, www.happyheartsy.com where you can find my more free crochet patterns. Have a great day!